Hello and welcome to ZimDocs. I'm Dr. Abstract. In this ZimDocs we're going to take a look at a shape. So let's go to the Zim site now, zimjs.com, press on Docs, type in shape up there, or indeed it's right here. So a shape is your basic object for drawing on the canvas. As a matter of fact, it's very much like raw canvas. Before CreateJS came along, before Zim came along, you could draw shapes on the canvas. That's things like line two and curve twos and drawing rectangles with strokes and fills. So your basic dynamic drawing. And we have a Zim shape and the Zim shape extends a CreateJS shape and there's really not very much difference. Zim has a bunch of things added to it, but in terms of drawing within the shape, it's all uh, CreateJS, which built that, which may indeed be all canvas, which built it. So it's a very raw, API, so to speak. And that is right here. So if you're going to draw in a shape, you use the graphics property. Uh, let's just show a quick example here. Var shape equals a new shape, and we're adding it to the stage. Shape.graphics.begin fill red draw rectangle. So all these commands right here are located in the CreateJS documents uh, right here. So if you scroll down, you'll find this handy chart. And we come here often to find out how to draw a curve and, and, and things like that. And you can clear, there's how to clear it uh, and so forth. So uh, these may be familiar for to you if you've done any drawing, for instance, back in Flash, we have these as well um, and so forth. So let's take a look at some of them then. Uh, maybe a little bit more. One of the uh, drawbacks is that the shapes don't have bounds unless you manually add the bounds. And you need bounds for things like hit tests, uh, centering the shape on the page, that kind of stuff. So you can pass in bounds directly here. This is one of the differences with the Zim shape is when you create the shape, you can specify bounds of uh, in, in the same way that we do it for a container here, if you just specify two numbers, it will give you the width and the height of the shape. If you specify four numbers, then the first two are the X and Y starting position of the shape, and then the width and height. I usually find that keeping the starting position at zero, zero is uh, usually a little bit hand, handier or easier to understand what's going on, but you don't have to. Okay, so shapes, right. I'll take you through that in some code. These are some examples of doing shapes. Anything else of interest here? Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo, parameters, caching, setting bounds, properties. Uh, again, you would be primarily looking at the graphics property uh, to do things. All right, well, let's let's go in and see some code then. Reduce this down. Whoop. Here we are, Zim shape, and we're bringing in CreateJS, which gives us all that shape power on the canvas, and then Zim, uh, which gives us extra things. So if you're doing, um, I don't know, let's look back at that documentation there. Uh, just a note, if you're, if you're wanting to make circles, rectangles, and triangles, Zim has uh, built-in shapes, circle, rectangle, triangle, which are really just shapes in behind there, stored in a container. But these ones have bounds already made, which makes it easier. Um, all right, so we also have squiggle and blob. And those squiggle and blob, by the way, now you can pass in a shape to the squiggle and blob and end up getting a squiggle and a blob with Bezier points that are editable by the user, if you so desire, in the shape of a, of a rectangle, a circle, or a triangle. You'll see why we did that. Here, for instance, is how you can make a rectangle with a shape. You create a new shape. We'll add it to the stage. Shape.graphics.begin fill red. Draw a rectangle. And after about a year of doing that in CreateJS, it was sort of like, time to leave <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. It's, it's time for me to leave my computer. Uh, right, I think I can handle it. I got to go take the car into the garage. Um, that's Zen Alarm, by the way, that just ran. Zen Alarm can play any sound on your computer as an alarm um, or some built in ones there. And that was made ages and ages ago, back in the 90s, I think. Uh, and you're still using it. How about that? So, uh, where were we? <laughs> um, this was a pain in the neck. After doing this for about a year, we said, okay, how about a convenience? This is, we can just say new rectangle. So new rectangle like that. It's the same thing. So if you're just going to draw a rectangle, no point in making a shape. And you'd have to 
add bounds to that as well and it's just like annoying and the bounds would be well if it starts at 0 0 200 100 it would be 200 comma 100 that would give you then bounds so it's annoying to do that when you could just say give me a new rectangle okay same with circles same with triangles Alrighty, so aside from that, uh, that's one way to do it. Note that we're using the long version of begin fill and draw rect. Here's a line. So the line you do a begin stroke blue. There's also a set stroke style or something, which I can never remember. And that would be, give you the width and maybe something else. Uh, here's a move to. So you're, it's like picking up your pen and moving to a certain location, 200, 200, and then drawing a line to 300, 300. Kind of makes sense. Here we are using the little small guys. We're saying, hey, uh, set the begin stroke of purple and set a stroke style of five and fill it blue, move two, and a quadratic um, lie or curve or whatever that, that stands for. Uh, now, what that would do is it would move to this location, then it would draw a line to this location, 600, 400, so that's over 200 and at the same height. And then this thing is the sort of a handle that uh, is up above, or let's see, it's at 500, so halfway between 400 and 600, 500, and 300, which is up a little bit higher, so that will pull the curve up. Shall we see them? Let's view these. Let's make a save here and open in browser. There she be. Okay, there's our rectangle, which is red. There's our, our thin line, and here's our curve that we drew. Nope, the fill and uh, filled that in. Now, where you would use these shapes is uh, for dynamic drawing. Uh, for instance, let's go to the Zim site, and under examples, there's lots of examples of dynamic drawing. This is actually a uh, gen pen, it's called. It's filled with with drawing lines uh, like like that, and yet we've we've introduced a Zim pen. And the Zim pen does uh, very strange things. Let's see, <laughs> it can draw cities, for instance. So um, the Zim pen is a really cool way to do dynamic drawing. I would look into that. Uh, it's a pen class. Uh, you don't have to come here to Gen Pen, but this uh, allows you all sorts of different ways to add damping to that, and different color sets, and and uh, it, it's a it's a lot of fun. So Gen Pen is certainly related to dynamic drawing. Uh, where's some other examples here? Mm, that's a blob, so not dynamic drawing. I won't look into any of the code pen. Oh, why is this so? <laughs> I want to see more. Uh, drawing GPU power oh no that may be dynamic drawing I can't remember uh, but it wasn't the example I was thinking of um, there this one is this one is a dynamic drawing so whoop, boop, 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 boop. okay that's that one uh, there's other examples in the Zim bits as well so that type of stuff where you don't know where your lines are going to go then you want to do some dynamic drawing. If you do know where your lines are going, uh, or you, you have a squiggle, for instance, this is a squiggle, that is all created from dynamic drawing. Uh, these, are, these are various curves that we coded in Zim to make this happen. Uh, neat, huh? So, uh, but this is using blobs and squiggles, so you don't need to go in behind. It's already been done for you. All right, well, I have, oh, there's my Zen alarm going, hey, whoa, 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 I have a negative time left, or I have almost a whole day left until it happens again. Uh, this has been Dr. Abstract. We took a look at shapes. I think that that's all we need to say about them. Uh, all the best, and we'll come back for another uh, docs here at Zim. Ciao.